안녕하세요. Today, let's watch a Korean TV series. 이상한 변호사 우영우, extraordinary attorney 우, that ended the last of Thursday. On the day the series ended, a sparkling whale made by 300 drones swam through the night sky. Let me introduce more phenomena. The visitors to the exhibition flying whale increased 10 times in Seoul, and the 500-year-old Korean hackberry attracts so many tourists in Changwon city. Also, people wait in line to eat kimbap at a restaurant in Suwon city and take a picture in the lobby with the red pillars of the Fairmont Hotel in Seoul and watch the sunset at Nakjo village in Gangwado Island. These places have become hot spots by word of mouth. Hot spot, hot place is said to be hot place as it is in English or hotpul for abbreviation. Anyway, why did this syndrome arise? That's because of the television series 이상한 변호사 우영우 Extraordinary Attorney U. It's available for streaming on Netflix. This show tells the story of lawyers working at large law firms, and many of the episodes are based on real cases. The main character, Wu Young Wu, is a new attorney with autism spectrum disorder. She has an idiotic memory that makes her a brilliant attorney, but Manners of communication is initially seen by the majority as awkward, and her strong emotional intelligence remains unrecognized. 타인과의 인사, greeting to others. 제 이름은 똑바로 읽어도 거꾸로 읽어도 우영우입니다. 기러기 토마토 스위스 인도인 별똥별 우영우. 제 이름은 똑바로 읽어도 거꾸로 읽어도 우영우입니다. 기러기, 토마토, 스위스, 인도인, 별똥별, 우영우. This is how she introduces herself. This unique greeting shows her quirky sense of humor, although it's not the way people are used to it. Look at the second sentence. 기러기, 토마토. Just like her own name, they are Korean words with the same first and last letters. So if you translate it literally as Goose, Tomato, Switzerland, Indian, Shooting Star, Uyong Wu, you can't make the taste come alive. That's why in the Netflix subtitles, this sentence is translated as Kayak, Deed, Rotator, Noon, Race Car. I heard that not only English but also translators for each language had a hard time in this sentence. I think this greeting has two senses. One seems to be characteristic of people with autism, and the other is metaphorical. 똑바로, straight, is an adverb meaning to be straight without leaning in any direction, or to be true without being wrong or lying. Her name, Wu Young Wu, reveals the human Wu Young Wu, who her inside matches her outside. She is honest. Her chingwaye insa greeting to her best friend. Ooh, to the young, to the ooh. Dong to the good, to the rummy. Ha! <laughs> they are so cute. This greeting is only shared with her best friend, Dongurami. Dongurami says hello first using the name Wu Young Wu. Wu to the young, to the Wu. Then Wu Young responds, Dong to the ku to the lami, using the name of her friend Dongurami. It doesn't mean much, just enjoy the rhyme. A close friend or a best friend in Korea is called Jolchin. Jolchin. This is short for Jolchinan Chingu. It's also called Bepu, Bepu in Konglish, which is short for best friend. Recently, Uyong Wu greeting challenger is popular. You can try using your best friend's name. Kimpa. 
Her father runs a small restaurant called Wu Yong Wu Kimbap. One of the typical characteristics of the autism is limited and repetitive behaviors. In the case of Yong Wu, she is obsessed with only one food, and that is Kimbap. Even when eating a cuisine worth $250, she orders Kimbap. Of course, Kimbap is the father's food since she was young. But it's because she can see the inside of Kimbap. 아침에는 항상 우영우 김밥을 먹습니다. 김밥은 믿음직스러워요. 재료를 한 눈에 볼수 있어 예상밖의 식감이나 맛에 놀랄 일이 없습니다. 김밥은 믿음직스러워요. 재료를 한 눈에 볼수 있어 예상밖의 식감이나 맛에 놀랄 일이 없습니다. So I think the food she eats. As well as her name and greetings show that she is honest and also trust the someone who is honest. Actually, the father's restaurant where it was filmed was famous for Yono Toppa, but according to the demands of visitors, the restaurant decided to make a kimpa. It's a really interesting phenomenon. Hejun Mungwa, Walt, Revolving Door and Walt. Wu Yong Wu is added in her new job by her colleague Yi Jun Ho, navigating everyday obstacles like their office building's revolving door. Walt를 준다고 생각하시면 어때요? 회전문 통과할 때요. 그 리듬을 타면 쉽거든요. 쿵짝짝쿵짝짝. 네 그렇게요. 맞아요 맞아요. 이따 나갈 때 같이 해봐요. 음. 왈츠를 춘다고 생각하시면 어때요? 회전문 통과할 때요. 리듬을 타면 쉽거든요. 쿵짝짝 쿵짝짝 네 그렇게요. 맞아요. 나갈 때 같이 해봐요. 이 준호 tells her how to go through the revolving door as if dancing a waltz in the rhythm of 쿵짝짝. We say 쿵짝 for the cheerful rhythm of three quarters of a beat. It means strong, weak, weak. He is so kind and gentle. I think this is the scene that shows a critical awareness of a society in which all systems are made according to the adult and non-disabled standards are tolerated in the name of custom. Kim Jang, Jung Myung Seok Senior Attorney Jung Myung Seok. Senior Attorney Jung Myung Seok is her mentor. Let's listen to their conversation. 잘했어요. 숨겨진 쟁점을 잘 찾았어. 이런 건 내가 먼저 봤어야 되는데 내 생각이 짧았네. 잘했네. 잘했어요. 숨겨진 쟁점을 잘 찾았어요. 이건 내가 먼저 봤어야 되는데. 내 생각이 짧았네요. He honestly admits his mistakes and apologizes and praises others for their achievements. He is a good model for the both senior and adult required by the times. Mentor, we use English. Boss is 상사, 상사. Senior is 선배, 선배. Adult is 어른, 어른. At this time, Wu Yong Wu gives an unexpected answer. 이제라도 아셨으니 됐습니다. 이제라도 아셨으니 됐습니다. It's okay now that you realized that. <laughs> She's too honest and so cool. 백나무, Korean hackberry. Can you guess how old this tree is? It's Pengnamu, Korean hackberry, that is about 500 years old. Episode A Tale About Sodokdong is a story of a villagers file a lawsuit against the local government. Because the village was in danger of being split in two parts as the construction of a road passing through the middle of the village. Wu Young Wu appears to the court with the intangible value of the village, including this 500-year-old Pengnamu. 
a villager say about the tree? 소독동 사람 중에 어린 시절 저 나무 타고 앉는 사람이 없고 기쁜 날저 나무 아래서 잔치 한번 앉는 사람이 없고 간절할 때 기도 한번 안 하는 사람이 없어요. 소독동 사람 중에 어린 시절 저 나무 타고 앉는 사람이 없고 기쁜 날저 나무 아래서 잔치 한번 앉는 사람이 없고 간절할 때 기도 한번 안한 사람이 없어요. Due to the series, people's interest in the hackberry has increased. And many people are visiting the village to see the tree. As a result, this tree, which had been designated as a protected tree, is under deliberation on the designation of a natural monument. We have a proverb called "Keranuro Pawichigi," to beat a rock with an egg. It's a metaphorical term referring to even if you fight against it, you cannot win. But in the lawsuit, it was judged to make a detour road. I'm really happy that people's interest can come together and bring a small change. Also, people have a new perspective on intangible values. Korea whales. This is a picture of a whale hanging in a conference room of the Royal Palm. It's the work of an artist who has been photographing whales underwater for over 40 years. His exhibition will be extended until September due to the popularity of this series. As you can guess, Woo Young Woo's favorite conversation topic is whales, even though people don't really want to hear it, except for Lee Jun Ho. 몸무게가 22톤인 암컷 향고래가 1.3톤짜리 알을 낳았다면 몸무게는 얼마일까요? 모르겠어요. Among her whale stories, there is also a story of dolphins that were caught in an aquarium, put on a show, and then returned to the sea by the Supreme Court ruling. Among them, Boksun was seen raising her baby in the sea. Like this, interest in animal rights is spreading throughout society due to the series. Also, the show by 300 drones was to promote endangered marine animals by Greenpeace under the slogan, 구해줘 바다, save the ocean. I have a question. What do whales mean to you? In the song William, which is a compound word of whale and alien, BTS described themselves as a lonely whale that cannot communicate with others. Back in history, whales were called Leviathan and were described as sea monsters, independent state and absurd power of the state. And also at CES, 2014, Intel showcased the augmented reality demonstrations based on the word of a Leviathan. The Leviathan flew over the audience. Woo Young Woo sees a whale lifting out of the ocean whenever she flashes a defense logic she could win her trial. The writer reveals that the whale is a very important object that visually shows Uyongu's inner world. Finally, in the last episode, she finds herself. She defines herself as Webbulgore, a narwhal that coexists with a pod of belugas. 저는 그 외뿔고래와 같습니다. 낯선 바다에서 낯선 흰고래들과 함께 살고 있어요. 모두가 저와 다르니까 적응하기 쉽지 않고 저를 싫어하는 고래들도 많습니다. 그래도 괜찮습니다. 이게 제 삶이니까요. And she declares that she has found a reason for her existence. The last emotion she felt was 뿌듯하다. 
Budu Tada can be translated into English as to feel a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. Budu Tam! What? I'm going to feel the name of Budu Tam! She almost shouted. 오늘 아침 제가 느끼는 이 감정의 이름은 바로 뿌듯함입니다. 이상한 우영우, Strange U. Have you seen the movie Rain Man? Also in Korea, movies and TV shows are being made in which the main character with the autism spectrum disorder, like Uyeong-woo. They were a marathon runner in the movie Marathon, a pianist in 그것만이 내 세상, and a pediatric surgeon in the TV series Good Doctor, which was remade by ABC Channel in the United States. Like these works, extraordinarily attorney Wu loved by many people of all generations. It's because Wu Young Wu's emotional insight has deeply moved many people, and despite revealing the characteristics of autism, she is cute, adorable, and confident, not pitiful. Also, the series depicts a human who is given an environment and reacts to it without extreme tension, twist, or a villain. In spite, it deals with the socially disadvantaged elderly, women, sexual minorities, and workers, as well as irrational local administration, excessive educational craze, and a communication security issues. The show develops all characters, including Wu Young Wu, as a struggling human beings, and is exceptional in its portrayal of a kinder and gentler society, moving towards encompassing difference. Obviously, we have negative perceptions, such as 차별, discrimination, 무시, ignorance, 무관심, indifference, and 편견, prejudice. However, such perceptions are changing into 다름, difference, 응원, support, 관심, attention, and 배려, consideration. I have a quick question. 이상한 in the title is translated as extraordinary, but it actually means strange or weird. What does it mean? Strange has a negative meaning that is unfamiliar and heterogeneous. But at the same time, I believe that creative thinking has the power to make our society a better place. In this sense, Wu Young Wu is really strange. Wu Young Wu is 정말 이상해요. Wu Young Wu is 정말 이상해요. My life is strange. 같이 있고 아름답습니다. 제 삶은 이상하고 별나지만 같이 있고 아름답습니다.